Audiobooks. I have finally gotten on the gravy train. Thank you, friends, for finally pushing me onto the audiobook train. I love it. I hope it doesn't turn into a certain degree of addiction. It's just very easy. You can do a lot of mundane household tasks while assimilating a lot of information into your brain. So I'm not going to review every single audiobook. Some of that is my secret. But some of the more interesting topics I will definitely, definitely share. And so I've got a series of three right now. They're all by the same author. It is by the author Caitlin Dotty. She is on YouTube Ask a Mortician. I love her channel. So I got her three audiobooks, which is Will My Cat Eat My Eyeballs? That one is fun little facts about decay, death, dying, and as it says on the cover, it's like, well, what fleshy part of me will my cat go after first if I die? Oh, fun fact, they're, it's actually not trying to eat you, it's trying to wake you up, seeing if, trying to, you know, seeing if you're still alive, and then at some point it will, the cat will basically go after this section of your face, and then this section of your body, first to stay alive so lots of fun little facts there and then her next book that I went into was from here to eternity and that one was more obscure and also common methodologies of processing the dead of grieving and how they do it around the world um, di different ethnic backgrounds and views and views on death and the processing of a body. So that, that was really interesting information. Traveled all the way around the world. And then the last one that I got from her was Smoke Gets in Your Eyes. That one was my favorite out of all three. That was also the longest. And that is basically her story and her journey uh, through becoming a mortician, going through her learning process, going also through her life, learning about the theme of death, K, how she emotionally deals with it, how she sees it, what actually happens when you cremate and embalm the industry itself to a certain degree, and the process of that industry, and even addresses a degree of paperwork revolving around the process of someone coming in to potentially get services for a loved one who has passed. That one was very informative. I appreciate that one the most, like I said before, and I got the most out of it. I like the having someone else's perspectives on certain angles of things especially if that's what their specialty is so that one was my favorite of all so if you are curious about knowing a thing or two about the processing of the deceased as well as what happens in the embalming process or how people are cremated um, the the fine details of it and your options about potentially having your own paperwork in order and being ready and prepared for the process when it does, when you do encounter it, for somebody else in your family, for a friend, or even having your own paperwork in order, I think is, is highly advisable and just smart. If you've got your stuff in order, that means that everybody else around you who has to grieve essentially has to do less work and can go more smoothly through the grieving process because that process is not smooth. But you can help a little bit more. I highly recommend that you go and visit her YouTube channel, which is, again, Ask a Mortician. And happy reading, everyone, as well as if you choose to take in audiobooks. Alrighty, until next time.